What's the deal? I already know what it is. Back in the show in another video. <clears throat> Let me stop. Let me stop, bro. Another video to pump out to y'all boys. And fucking today, man, I'm not stopping, bro. I'm not stopping the grind, bro. We gotta fucking go, bro. We gotta go, bro. This is my, this my shit, bro. We gotta keep these shits going, bro. So about to be talking about fucking sweetie and Quavo. They broke up. It's a done deal. She played him. She played him. He or he played her. I'm gonna talk about both scenarios that I didn't heard. Whatever went down. And we just gonna go from there. So I ain't even, I ain't gonna try to put out no, it's probably both false, but I'm gonna just say all the scenarios I heard and talk about each one. And then that's how we going, that's how we rocking. And then I'm just getting my take on it. So basically, y'all goes, y'all goes, y'all been saying this for a long time. I couldn't wait, couldn't wait to get on y'all last. Y'all be talking about, oh my God, Sweetie and Quavo, they're so goes. These are, shit, excuse me. I done seen y'all posting the fuck out of Sweetie and Quavo. Goes, 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 goes. I said this in another video on the Valentine's Day vlog. Fucking the grass is never that green, bro. It's not that green on the other side, bro. Y'all be looking at these people. Goes, 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 goes. She talking about he was cheating on her. Like I said, like I said in the fucking Valentine's Day video. Y'all niggas fucking. Y'all really. <laughs> y'all look real funny right now. Cause that junk, that junk crazy. But they really broke up, bro. He invested all that money in her. Basically put her on. A lot of niggas didn't even know who Sweetie was till Quavo came in the picture. Real, like, believe it or not. Fucking like it or not, that's what I meant. Yeah, she was doing her thing, dropping her little low-key songs and shit. But when she got with Quavo, shoot, shot all the way up. And fucking, the Quavo fucking got status like shit. He, he a fucking vet. Nigga been around for a long ass time. He fucking piped Nikki out. Fucking, a lot of people don't fucking know that. Quavo fucking tapped that ass. Like he said, fucking, I was trying to play it cool, but I tapped that ass. And she admitted to it on Queen Radio. She was like, she tried to play it all cool and be like, I, niggas really think they game got them some pussy. <laughs> we fucked because I fucked, man. Shut the hell up. Shut the hell I can't, I'm sick of hearing that shit. Fucking y'all are not fucking these niggas, bro. No matter what y'all say, unless unless you got this nigga legs up and you on top of him and you doing that shit, <laughs> then you're fucking him. But if a nigga fucking, you just throwing it back or some shit, you not fucking him. At the end of the day, the nigga is fucking clap, clapping cheeks. He going, he he's, he's doing it. And then either way, even if you're on top, because girls like to think just because they on top, that they the ones that's doing it to the dude. But at the end of the day, you're being penetrated. You're literally being penetrated. Like something is going in you. You're being thrust. Like you're being penetrated. You're always going to be the one that's being. I'm going to try to tone down on this. On the whole. On this vulgar stuff I'll be saying. But you're the one that's. You get it. You're the one that's. You know. Even if you're on top. You're still. You get it. But back on topic. Yeah, but Quavo got into Nikki. Nikki, so no Quavo been doing this and fucking settled down with Sweetie. Shit didn't even last that long. Couldn't he couldn't he couldn't stick it out like offset. But fucking basically both the stories I've been hearing. Sweetie, man, Sweetie is a whole nother topic of herself. She like a prime example of the problem with modern society. And the message that she puts is just all all of it is just disgusting just really gross fucking she fucking she was clowning Quavo on the live and shit Quavo was sitting there looking stupid as she talking about if your man can't buy ain't buying you no Birkin I'm oh my god that word is like bothering me I'm seeing time I'm getting tired of that word bro but she's like if he can't buy you a Birkin and he ain't paying all your bills throw his ass back to the streets they, they tried to flip the whole she belongs to the streets <laughs> they tried to flip the whole thing it's like she's talking about throw him back to the streets like, bro, shut your damn mouth, bro. Like, this, and then Quavo ass, he's sitting there, yeah, I bought her like two Birkins already, huh? Like, bro, these niggas be simps. At the end of the day, these niggas be simps. And then, it's called this shit. These niggas be simps, bro. And fucking, they don't be, bro. She, she, sweetie's just a problem. She a problem, they all problems. But, 
Quavo cuffed her. He thought that that was he thought that that was the fucking move. He cuffed her, and then he he threw money in her. She like apparently. All right, I might as well just jump into why they saying they broke up. First, the first thing I seen was they was, was, was um. I guess somebody was talking to her friend or something. You know how the bloggers be. They be they be talking about they be having sources that say that's close to where that says this. I don't, it's bullshit, but I'm gonna still speak on it in case it might, off the off chance it might be true. So she was saying Quavo wasn't putting enough, giving her enough money, or not giving, <laughs> that's, that's in the lamest terms, but he wasn't being romantic. He wasn't really, he wasn't spending enough. He wasn't giving her presents like that. You know, like some typical little shit. Even though we, we be seeing what we see on camera, it looked like Quavo gave her fucking. They were saying he gave her $50,000 in roses on Valentine's Day or some shit. He fucking, we seen her, he got her, she got her the burkas and shit. Them fucking two goddamn multi thousand, like, them bitches would be like 10 racks. Them ones was probably more than that. So, he gave her two of those on her little, on her birthday. From So, it's like, at this point, it's like, when, just off us seeing that, like, we normal people. So... Just by us seeing that, we like, when is it, like, enough, bro? Like, apparently that wasn't enough. It, it, it was a long list of stuff that they were saying that he got her already when she was saying this. But he gave her cars and shit, but it's like, it's just like, when is it enough? It's clearly never enough for these fucking modern, these modern women. It's just never enough. So, that was one, that was one thing they were saying. And I'm talking that because that's basically bullshit. Like, I was just saying... When the fuck is it enough? When is it going to be a point where it's like, okay, this materialistic stuff don't matter. Actually, it's never going to be enough, especially not for nobody like them. Because they literally, their whole existence is based around material things. So it's like, if, unless they have everything in the world, it's never going to be enough. And and she talking about he not romantic enough for some shit. He not, some, some shit, no intimate, like just little shit like that. Then it's like, okay. Are you fucking dumb? Like, this is literally Quavo that you decided to get with. She decided to get with Quavo. She had really, and she was saying she been wanting him just off of, um, just off of, uh, just no, like, he was Quavo. Like, she was like, all oh, bitches be fucking having crushes on Quavo and shit. So she was just like a regular girl that just liked Quavo. So when he slid up on her, on her story, you know, with the fucking, I'm a Glacier Boy shit, she fucking, she instantly snapped and was like, oh yeah, we about to get into this shit. And that's how they be fucking doing. And that was their first mistake. They fucking, they got attracted to each other and just off the infatuation of just what they looked like. They just was like, oh, she cute. Oh, he cute. Let's just, we just, we in this now. And we would be a good couple. And I'm sure the fucking labels probably pushed that shit, set that shit up. Like, bro, Sweetie was fucking, Sweetie had, was walking around with Quavo like he was a damn accessory, bro. If you look up their pictures and shit, it's just them in public or just them walking around or any situation, bro. Quavo just be in the back, like, or he'll be just in the back and she just like dragging him along, like, bro. Quavo was literally an accessory and she said it in the live where that nigga was fucking, oh my god, so like he did that stupid shit. Cause she was like, get you a rich nigga, some shit like that in the live. And she was like, mine is back there. And then he was just sit standing there. And I'm just like, bro. What happened, what happened to you, bro? You, this is the nigga that fucking piped Nikki out, bro. It's like, dog. And then on the other end, she's saying fucking Quavo cheated. And that's why, that's what she's officially saying. She's saying, basically, she implied that he cheated. And then that's why they broke up. And, I mean, yeah, I mean, the, we, we heard this story a lot of times over and over again. The fucking woman get with a rapper. The rapper fucking cheating. I mean, the nigga fucking. What did you expect at the end of the day? Like, when is y'all gonna really learn that these these fucking niggas is not? They not like. They high value men. At the end of the day, at the end of the day, bro. At the times of old fucking men, a status they had multiple wives, bro. And these dudes have status, and they got all of this shit. It's like it's hard. It's gonna be difficult to lock these dudes down, bro. Fucking polygamy was. Very, very fucking prominent way back. And fucking these high value men, bro, they want multiple wives and they they don't know how to fucking express that because that go back to the video I said, fucking the last video I said, damn, the last video I posted. 
that go back to what I was saying. These dudes are scared of women. At the end of the day, Quavo was scared of Sweetie. That nigga fucking couldn't tell her that he wanted to have another bitch, so he ended up cheating on her. And that's really what it is. Men is scared of women nowadays. We already talked about that in the last video. Check that out. So, and then, um, basically what I want to say is, this is y'all goals, and look at the fucking, look what happened with that. Y'all goals blew, exploded, literally imploded. And crashed and burned pathetically on some bullshit. Both reasons, either reason would have been, I ain't gonna say her reason is shallow, but her, re yeah, her reasoning, if she fucking left because the gifts and shit, shallow as hell. Her reason if he cheated, is some weight to that, but I mean, what did you expect? Like, let's not, these people be really playing stupid, bro. Like, which, what we can learn from this, though, what I want to say to the dudes, bro, you see what happened to Quavo. He did, he fucking dumped millions of dollars into this woman, and it still wasn't enough. So, take that into consideration. The nigga, I'm like, bro, I was watching LTG, and he was saying some real shit. Modern society is moving in a way where it's literally leaving average niggas, like niggas like you and me. The society is leaving average niggas behind, bro. It's no, it's no room for you walking around this bitch being average, bro. You gotta be the best or in the fucking top 5% of whatever you fucking doing in this lifetime these days. And that's just the honest truth, nigga. If you fucking punching in, we were talking about this shit, I was talking about this shit yesterday. If you fucking punching in your nine to five and shit, you go home, you don't do shit, you just working, you just working to be average, bro. Get yourself, get your fucking ass up, bro. Like, what the fuck are you doing, bro? In this lifetime, it's, bro, bro, you gotta be, you gotta be pushing yourself to be the best, bro. Like, dog, believe it or not, excuse me, believe it or not, bro, you are in competition with all these niggas out here, even the fucking celebrities that you don't even know, nigga. They were in competition with all them niggas. If, whether you want to be or not, you in competition with them. So, and you want to know how? I'm about to give you a scenario. You got you a girl. You got you a girl. Y'all, y'all, y'all chilling. Y'all living. Y'all, you, you know, you y'all been together for a minute. Fucking, fucking Michael B. Jordan slide up on your girl, nigga. You think she not leaving you, nigga? Like, bro. Like, I'm, I'm not even trying to, bro. And then maybe, maybe. Uh, exceptional, uh, exceptional woman wouldn't, and a lot of women gonna see this and be like, "I wouldn't leave my man." Da, 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 da. I ain't trying to hear that shit, cause when shit hit the fan, you will fucking stand. So look, when fucking modern, uh, modern, modern society is mo is modern society. When I say that, bro, that is the vast majority of people. And, and women's case, nigga, these days, bro, I'm thinking this shit is at like a, at least a 95 percent. So. What are the, think about the odds that you dating a 95er, and that's what I'm gonna call it. What do you think the odds of you dating a 95er is? 95%, high as fuck. So, Michael B. Jordan slide on your bitch right now, tell her, nigga, I like you, I've been watching you for a minute, I wanna change your fucking life. You, bro, and you an average nigga, you think that she's not about to fucking take Michael B. Jordan's offer to get her fucking life changed? If you're average, bro, average fucking body, average money, average fucking job, average fucking car, average fucking house, nigga, it's a fucking done deal. You are in competition with all of these niggas at the fucking top, bro. Whether you believe it or not, whether you want to be or not, bro, you're in competition with them niggas and you got to fucking act like it, nigga. You got to go to the fucking gym. Get your body together. Stop having an average fucking body. Stack your money up. Stop having average fucking bank account numbers. Nigga, you gotta, you gotta try to be the fucking best, bro. You have to push yourself to be the best. You niggas be living so fucking average and be cool, bro. It's no room for that shit these days, bro. You seen what just happened to fucking Quavo. You think if this shit happens to Quavo, it won't happen to you, nigga? Bro, bro, it wasn't enough. He, everything he did, it wasn't enough, nigga. It wasn't enough. And it's gonna be a point where, nigga, you're not doing enough. You think, you think, yo, bro. And then they push it, they show you all the time, nigga. You seen what Michael B. Jordan did for Lori Harvey on Valentine's Day, nigga. He gave her a whole stock and 
Her main ass, I think it's called. He gave her a stock in that shit. Ran it out the aquarium. You think your girl not seeing this shit and thinking about you, bro? Like, damn. Like, she probably ain't gonna have no unrealistic expectations like, I wish she would do that, but she gonna wish you would try harder, nigga. It's a, society is leaving average niggas behind, bro. It's pushing this, it's pushing this shit to leave you kind of niggas behind, bro. Niggas like us, bro, is trying to leave us, and I'm not trying to get left, nigga. You gotta get on your fucking grind, bro, and try to be the best you can be. Fuck this average shit, nigga. We gotta get this money, bro. We gotta be fucking wealthy, and we gotta give back. We gotta give back to everybody else. That's basically what I'm doing now. Fucking me, even putting this information out here, I'm trying to fucking give back to everybody and just put them here, bro. Anybody that fucking hear me out, I, I appreciate this shit, too. I'ma just fucking, I'm, I ain't got no notes. I'm just fucking rambling and shit, but I appreciate everybody that watched this shit, bro. Real talk, bro. Because this is what I'm doing. This is my fucking passion. I fucking love the fuck out of doing this shit. Like, nigga, I don't care if this shit get fucking two views, a million views, bro. I love doing this shit, so this is what I'm doing, nigga, and this gonna be what I continue to do. So, that's really pretty much it, bro. I got the, that was kind of like a rant, bro. I just was just rambling and shit. That's kind of, no, that's not random shit all over the place, but that's pretty much it, bro. So, like, that's that was my take on the whole thing, bro. Just fucking, just do better, bro. We all just gotta keep doing better. And, I'm, and that's, that might sound kind of vague, but you get what I'm saying, bro. We all just gotta keep doing better. Fuck this, fuck living average. We got to try to be the best we can be in this lifetime, bro. And then do it in a way where you can be, um, where you can prosper in your afterlife, too. Like, don't be on no bullshit to try to be at the top just in this. Because then you showing, like, you don't give a fuck about shit else. You just really, really love this shit to the point where you'll do anything to, to be good here. But it's like, nigga, you still got to focus on after you fucking die. Because you're going to die. We're all going to fucking die. So... You gotta try to do your best to live good here and live good eternally, bro. And that get the best of both worlds. Like, don't be on no bullshit just to, cause you value being here that much. Like, yeah, care, but don't, fuck, you know, watch what you do. Made a video on that already. Fucking, I forgot what it was called, but his God will punish you is the, um, the thumbnail. So, yeah, um, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. <laughs> Take care, stay safe. I'm on y'all boys. Ah. And then I used an example of fucking what I was saying, the whole average shit. I was saying like, I kind of made it seem like I was sitting around girls. Bro, fuck the girls, bro. Get out of this average mentality for yourself, bro. Because at the end of the day, even though Sweetie was a dime to most people, even though she was a dime and he, she fucking left Quavo or whatever, nigga, that's still Quavo at the end of the day. Even when the bitches is gone, bro, Quavo is still Quavo. Quavo still fucking got millions, nigga, and he can still go get another bitch quickly, nigga. Like, you can you say that, though? If you if your bitch left you, bro, can you say that? You fucking can't, bro. You nigga, if your girl leave you, bro, she fucking left, she fucking left you, and you ain't got and you ain't got no money to fall back on. And you fucking since you don't got no money, you can't up another bitch like that. You ain't got no fucking, you just ain't got shit. So do it, bro. Do it for yourself, bro. Do it for yourself. So at, even if something like, bro, at the end of the day, you're going to always have fucking God and you're going to still have what you built, like your fucking legacy, bro. And do it for that, bro. Fuck the females, bro. Because at the end of the day, that shit moving into, that shit moving to a territory where it's going off the deep end, like nigga. You need, bro, they've been throwing this fucking Birkin shit around for so long, bro. And I've been, I looked up the price of a fucking Birkin. I'm telling, bro, it'll be a cold, bro. You, you, a bro, you, a bro, like, the bitch, somebody say, you, a bro, nigga. Fuck you. Fuck you. <laughs> it's at the end of the day, bro. I looked up the price of a damn Birkin, bro. It'll be a cold day in hell. I invest that kind of money in a fucking female, bro. And that's just that. Like, bro, they've been pushed, like, nigga, they be talking, they be talking about, it's just it's all it's it's starting to be all about materialistic things, bro. And at the, at this point, it's like, bro, they don't even be this. They don't even deserve that shit. If you if you feel like you fucking deserve something like that, that's materialistic from fucking just doing nothing and existing, bro. 
I'm gonna make another video about social media because social media really fucked everything up, bro. Like, that shit killed everything. Like, bro, you can really just see it. So many women, they get, look, look, this is, this is, this is what, so, I'm gonna just make it quick what social media did. And I'm just, I'm gonna go back on the women because fucking, look, all right, I, I went, I ripped into the niggas in the last video. So I'm on, I'm on women this time. So look, this is what this shit did. When, um, imagine a girl. She could fucking post a little bit of butt cheek, nigga. A little bit of butt cheek. She can get five. Let's. I'm a lowball it. Five DMs from a nigga. Five niggas gonna slide up and say some bullshit. Okay. Now imagine this formula, and you just deal with that shit like for years, nigga. Years you see average Joes or below average niggas or average Joes always sliding up on you and you fucking decline them. You're going to start getting the thoughts in your head like, no, I need something way more than this. But you're going to get that thought in your head just, just off the simple fact that you done threw on a little bit of makeup, got your hair did, and showed a little bit of fucking butt cheeks. So, showed a little bit of fucking cleavage. You're going to start feeling like, okay, I need I to, to okay, I guess to get me, if this is what uh, what I'm being presented with all the time, and I'm not interested, I'm guess I'm bound to have I'm bound to be um, enticed. Like the only thing that can entice me is something higher, higher, way higher than me. And it's like, I mean, niggas, regular niggas, like okay, so look, regular niggas fucking get your get a girl a damn Pandora bracelet. She 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 likes it, but. That's just it. She just likes it. But she see bitches like Sweetie and Cardi B getting fucking burkas and shit, and they look happy as hell. So she likes your average gift, but she sees Sweetie and Cardi B loves their burkas. So she's going to start thinking, oh, I guess this is what I need to be that happy too. And it's like, it just, it's a cycle, bro. You start, you, it, this shit really fucking, social media really fucked everything up bro like literally i put emphasis on it because it fucked everything bro and that's why i don't even try to be on there like that i just get on there to fucking promote my channel and shit bro and i wish i kind of do wish that i was super big on social media way back when so i so i could have a platform and when i started my channel fucking people are already be on it like bro i've been seeing a lot of fucking girls capitalize making youtube channels and shit when they fucking they fucking 20K, 10K, 30K, 40K, and fucking they start off, they fucking got the subs up off the jump just for being fucking pretty and saying I got a channel. I done seen channels with no videos up that just got subs. I just be like, she ain't even do shit. But it's like, that's just the way, that's just the way. Yeah, I was, I was saying, yeah, that's just the way shit is. But, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I already know that the video like fucking 22 minutes long. It's crazy because I used to have fucking like eight minute, nine minute kind of videos. Like I first was a struggle to get it over ten, and then I wasn't even trying, so I just wasn't having that much to say. Now I'm fucking accidentally making goddamn videos as long as a damn a TV show. So, but hey, that's just it is, it is what it is, nigga. I ain't gonna throw no fucking clickbait to make people watch to the end, nigga. The real ones gonna watch to the end regardless. So that's just it. I already did my outro, but fuck it. Take care. Stay safe. I'm with y'all boys. Ah. This that reality shit.